Welcome back to another video on Gearsaw Studios, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build yourself a bedroom and bathroom. So without further ado, let's investigate how we'd go about this. And for our palette, you'll notice that this is the exact same spot as last week, which is kind of funny, but pretty much the same build. So for our bedroom, I'm going to go with Lime and its terracotta version, although you can do different ones. Of course, you don't have to copy this wall design exactly, and who knows, you might be building something that's not modern at all. And then for the bathroom, I recommend using a more modern futuristic palette, unless it's more of a medieval build, in that case, I'd recommend probably not including it, because it's just all out of place. Then the decor, outside of the bathroom will be spruce, and inside will be dark oak. Basically, don't overuse dark oak, it might be a very good block, but if you overuse it, it kind of uh, overstayed. Then for the floor, a wee birch. Although for the bathroom, I'm going to be using polished diorite. And then you have to find yourself a building location. Fortunately, in this underground bunker, I've already dedicated a very small room to this. So make sure you excavate or build yourself a decently sized room. If you are going to build this on the surface, make sure that the walls for the bedroom aren't the same ones on the outside essentially make it two blocks thick but for now all you need to do is start excavating your room and this should be pretty easy make sure it's about four blocks tall as well although you could potentially do it with just three right here i have the basis for your room and first off a little bit of a transition zone right here so that way in case you're building this with a different palette or you can safely change your palette by doing a little area here do a few stairs, so that way you go down a level, or potentially up a level, depending on what you want to do, and then swap palettes there. Then, for your walls, you want to do lime, concrete, and terracotta. Of course, you can do blue, or red, or whatever. But remember about color theory, and think about it. Purple is a bit more calming, and blue is also a bit more calming, but green is a brighter color. A bit more energetic. Might not be the best for a bedroom, but it certainly looks nice. I'll probably swap them out mid-video, just to give an idea, and from there you can make your decision. Chances are, this room will end up blue by the end of the video, simply because it might look better. Then, for your four, birch blanks. There really isn't much to say here. Although, technically you could go in, grab birch stairs, remove this layer here, and add stairs around like this. Not entirely sure why you'd want to do this, but it could be reminiscent of floor molding. Which, who knows, that might be a vibe you like. So you can do this, outline it with a different block, who knows. But essentially, you should keep it nice and flat for the time being before we add our major details. Right here, I now have a lot of the bedroom completed. For the ceiling, I needed to do some trim. And, well, I did some crown molding with some smooth quartz, and then I did a bunch of Voltre frog lights to simulate lights. Is it a little excessive? Yes. Was the room too dark without them? Yes. You can also add quartz pillars to the bottoms of your walls, although this is down to personal preference. I'm going to do without them, but I might add them back. And you might want to experiment with, of course, different colors like I said already. I'm going to keep this green, but of course, you can do any color you want. And don't forget about four colors too. I might have birch here, but I added some oak trim in order to mix it up and make it more interesting, especially once I add the spruce furniture later on. You can imagine, with a few very basic things, these colors kind of work together. So that's what you should be striving for. Now, place down a simple bed. You just need the block for now. I recommend doing something kind of similar to the walls, although that's up to you. You might want to do it here, you could make it triple wide, you could just make it double wide, who knows. But essentially what you need to do is have two beds, unless it's a very small room in which you should only do one. You could also use carpets and wool in order to make it seem longer. So, getting out my lime wool, and then some lime carpet, I can now make this seem a bit larger than it really is, especially if I start adding some trim around it. Something like this, of course, more complicated in the end. And then some spruce here. And now I'm starting to get a much larger bed. 
You might want to do trapdoors instead if it's too thick though, which I'm probably going to do. Right here, I now have two pieces of decor in the room. First off, this bed. I looked at a few bed designs online. I recommend doing the same if you want to make a more interesting one, and I came up with this. Of course, I have the carpets on top in order to give the illusion that the beds are 2x3. And then some bookshelves here, and a little extra spruce stuff. It's a little bit larger, but it looks a lot fancier, and then I did more trapdoors at the end. Don't forget about signs existing, those can be very useful for this too. And now, here's a basic shelf. Blue candles on one side, bookshelves replacing part of the wall here, and then a dragon egg with a quartz pillar on top to make a lamp. Of course, this is only if you plan to be in this room a lot, because sometimes it works better in other places and you only have one dragon egg per world. Perhaps you want to do something like this, although, well, it's up to you where you put your dragon egg. Sometimes it might just be relegated to hiding in an ender chest until you quit the world, so who knows. And now, what you want to do is hang up some paintings. And this can be a little weird to do because of course some paintings are real large and some of them just don't fit. Who wants Donkey Kong in this room? So you'll have to try a few times to get one that you like. Personally, I recommend going for some of the smaller paintings. Those can work a lot better. The 2x2s work pretty well. Especially with the new 121 ones being a little bit more modern, if you get what I'm saying. Either way, try a few different options here and there in order to see what works, and continue adding small furniture pieces like this, using a combination of stairs, slabs, planks, signs, etc. And whatever you do, don't leave walls blank. This is how you get a boring build. The more walls you leave blank, the less interesting your build gets, and the more unfinished it looks. From here, this is a perfectly serviceable bedroom, but wow, there isn't much going on. So, add some shelves with trapdoors as well. You can hide a lot of things in here in order to make it seem a lot more lived in, and make sure to leave space for a door to the bathroom if you're doing that kind of style. Right here, this room is all nicely decorated, of course, I have the bed, and then making sure no wall is untouched, a little dead coral because that's kind of interesting, and don't forget a banner here or there in case you wanted to show some patriotism. Of course, me being me, put down my own YouTube profile picture. But still, if you have some, the better. And now, it's time for the bathroom. Leave this part out if you're doing something more medieval, say cobblestone walls or something. Well, it wouldn't be very realistic to include this, or at least not in the modern day sense of bathroom. And here is a basic room. First off, quartz pillars on the bottom, and then white concrete around to create that modern vibe. Then I did a pretty similar light and ceiling scheme using stairs going around, and then some stairs facing inward before putting more of those with some frog light. And then a little cranny here for a shower. You can do a bathtub or a shower, both are relatively simple, since one is just a cutout of the room and the other one can be easily done by just placing down quartz stairs in a circle. So. I'd rather do the shower because it's the more interesting of the two, and probably the harder concept. Of course, glass panes here. If you want to create some carpet here, you could use some coral and fans. It's a very rarely used block, but it can work under the right circumstances. Don't forget that you also need a toilet, and you can even use banners to make mirrors. If you use a grey outline and a gradient along with a white stripe across it, you can make a mirror, although it won't be functional. So, all those little things add up. Make sure to look at some little pictures online, maybe look up bathroom design, because of course, one tutorial can't comprehensively fill out every single one. But, still, so I'll be here to provide the basics and a nice starting point for building bathrooms. Right here, I now have a completed bathroom, and there's quite a bit going on, and it's kind of cramped, but because it's kind of cramped, means that it's all sufficiently decorated. Of course, simple walls, and then here I have a mirror. If you're wondering how I did this banner, well, here's the description of it. I did a white line, then a light gray gradient, and then a gray border on a light blue banner. Turtle eggs here, and then some unlit white candles, these just look like toiletries. These vanity cabinets. You put down an item frame, rotate a smooth quartz slab upside down inside of it, and then put a white banner. Right here, it's a toilet. 
yeah, there isn't exactly too much to talk about here on these dark oak trapdoors because dark oak works a lot better than spruce in here. I put down some snow. They're double layered and quadruple layered, so that way they look like towels, nice white fluffy towels. And then these paintings, well, just painting, it's pretty simple. More of those cabinets, some lit light blue candles, and then right here, the shower. A copper grate with the bottom of it being replaced with black concrete. And then two buttons and a tripwire hook. Shower head, make it hotter, make it colder. No more dealing with those annoying dials. I am tired of burning and freezing myself. And then your build is now complete. Even though it's only one type of bathroom and one type of bedroom respectively, this should provide the necessary instructions to produce your own. You can swap out the colors, try different wall designs. Of course, you need to make sure that everything is decorated. Don't forget about paintings and some more niche blocks like dead coral and jukeboxes. Maybe even a decorated pot with a flower pot with a flower inside of it. You need to try out the different things. And once you know about these things, it's much easier. So that way you can make your own bedrooms without having to repeatedly follow tutorial after tutorial. Look up some design ideas, use them, and what do you know? You have a nice bed and bath. And with that, it's the end of today's video. If you enjoyed this video, remember, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Either way, enjoy the rest of your day. Gearsaw out.